Another great guy who's busy with his uh, acting career and musical career, Thomas Ian Nicholas, and fresh from a sound check. I believe you're, you're out in L.A. right now? No, I'm, uh, I'm in New York. I'm, I'm out here for the month filming a, oh, a new okay. independent film, um, which is uh, called Not For Nothing. Okay. It's from the director that brought us uh, Pounds and a Mexicano. Ah, so, oh, very good. So, so uh, you're busy filming as well as uh, your own band, Thomas Nicholas Band, and uh, great, great time. That I'm sure the Willie Fest, you're excited to uh, be a part of this, right? I am, I am. I, uh, I'm excited to, to perform at the opening night gala of, uh, of Willie Fest. And Williamsburg is, uh, it's like my, it's my New York hood. I have friends that live there, and every time I come into town when I'm not working, I'm usually staying in Williamsburg. And even while I've been here working in Manhattan, we've been shooting in Tribeca, um, I've pretty much, like half the time I've been here, I take the JMZ over to Williamsburg and eat over there because there's so many great restaurants. Now, going back to your early days as an actor, those, uh, how, how early did you start, and what was your first project? Um, wow. I started when I was six years old mm -hmm. and, um, the first notable role that I landed was a, a guest spot on who's the boss. If you remember that Tony Danza TV oh, yeah. series back in the day, right, right. I played a young Tony Danza at the age of six and oh. he got dressed up in latex makeup and played his own grandfather as it were. <laughs> so, so, you know, now with the, the musical career, are you self-taught or did you study music? Um, the, sh the quickest way, if you don't like what I'm playing, the quickest way to shut me up is to put some sheet music in front of me. Uh, <laughs> I do not read music. Right. Um, I have taken some lessons. I'm mainly self-taught and I mainly play by ear. Um, though I, I, by default, I mean, I've been playing for 14 years. I think I've inadvertently learned some music theory just by accident. Oh, we got to give Thomas's, uh, website out. Uh, Thomas Nicholas. Oh, well, why don't, why don't you give it right out? Tom. Sure, it's uh, thomasnicholasband.com um, You can just Google Kevin from American Pie, I'm sure something will come up Right, right. Uh, There's also my, uh, my Twitter handle, which is TINBAND sort of my acronym of Thomas Ian Nicholas T-I-N and BAND um, Like I and said, you, Google's, a, Google's a great search I... engine, so just Google me and you'll find my websites <laughs> And he's on MySpace, of course Yeah, that's right, myspace.com uh, backslash Thomas Ian Nicholas and speaking of American Pie, uh, you know, how, how much talk is there to further that great enterprise right there? Well, uh, I've been reading in the paper that uh, we're talking about doing a fourth one with the original cast. I haven't heard anything officially, um, so it's just, just in the rumorville, but it would be a lot of fun if we all returned back and did a, you know, an American Pie with the original cast and... Uh, put that out into theaters, and, and uh, it, would be, it would be fun. I think I would do it for sure if it happens. Right, right. Now, now you guys are, are all in film, acting, producing, and, and directing. And, and like, for, for people like myself and probably a lot of our audience, what are the main differences besides money of what you see in independent movies and, and mainstream movies that get all this funded and all the, all the notoriety? Well, the main difference between the two is the amount of control that the director has. Okay. Uh, in an independent film world, the director is completely in control, for the most part. I mean, there are always exceptions to these generalizations, but uh, typically the director has approval over the cast, over, you know, the writing. If he wants to change something, he can, uh, even if he didn't write it as well. Um, whereas in the studio land, the producer and the studio itself is more in charge, and the director kind of works for them and there's a little less uh, leeway and freedom. Oh, well, well put. So, uh, Thomas Ian Nicholas, we're going to play some music from you right now, from your band, Turn Me Off. You're, you're right uh, on. So are you going to do another set at Angels and Kings tonight? People want to come and check yeah, you I'm out? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to play uh, at a, the Acoustic Monday that they have there. I'm going on uh, at 9.30. Okay, and do you know the location, the street address offhand? Uh, I think it's 511th, at, uh, 11th, and it's at Avenue A and 11th in okay. the East Village. Okay, so it's on the East Village. Angels and Kings, Thomas, Nicholas will be there tonight, and we're going to play Turn Me Off right now, and uh, thomasnicholasband.com.
We'll come back and support, speak more with the guys in just a few moments. Rocks, and it's from our special guest, one of our many guests this evening, Tom, Thomas Nicholas, and that is called Wasting My Time. And these guys are not wasting our time because they are all a part of the big Williamsburg International Film Festival uh, this upcoming week in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Willie Fest, director, producer, Mr. Michael Hellman is with us. Robin Adams couldn't be with us tonight unless he's going to join in at the last moment, but he's been busy on a shoot. And uh, Anwar Robinson, who has a brand new record, everything coming out uh, very, very shortly. We heard a track with uh, Cassandra Kellum and Anwar Robinson and uh, Thomas Ian Nicholas. Hey, you were born in, in Las Vegas, right? That is correct. Yeah, my, my, dad, <laughs> my dad lives in uh, North, North Vegas. So, uh, but, but then L.A. was uh, where you really matured and, and uh, made your stride in, in the acting world. And how about uh, some of your up, up let's talk with uh, Anwar and, and Thomas, your respective uh, influences music-wise. Go ahead, Amor. Let's uh, let's hear what uh, Ooh, I've been crazy. talking for too much here. <laughs> oh no, you know what? I'm sorry because you know I'm listening. Um, I'm actually rehearsing one of the songs that I'm going to be performing at Willie Fest. Um, so I was just a little a little zoned into that. Um, my influences range from Stevie Wonder to Donny Hathaway to Tom Jones. I mean Frank Sinatra. There's a lot of you know. I love that you know that old school you know. Uh, World class performance kind of thing. Marvin Gaye. Um, I love Aretha Franklin. Uh, you know, Shaka Khan. I'm, I'm ranging in that all the way through the '80s. I got a little Prince up in there. Yep. And, uh, and Michael Jackson. You were a big oh, part of the the tribute to Michael uh, Jackson at Birdland, right? Oh yeah, the, the Birdland tribute to Michael Jackson. Um, that wow, you know that took me back for a moment. Yeah, Michael, I had my I had my silver glove. Definitely oh. had that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, a lot of I love I love gospel music. I love jazz music. You know, R and B is definitely where I um, I feel at home. And it just ranges from so many different um, kinds of music. I grew up around a lot of different kinds of music. So you know, kind of putting it all together. You know that's what I've been. That's what I've been doing. That's why you know another reason why we called the album everything because there's a little bit of everything on it um, under the helm of um, R and B. So yeah, that's that's just the gist of where I where I come from. Now, now do you keep uh, contact with any of your uh, finalists from the American Idol the season that uh, you were a part of? Oh, definitely. I, what I love about modern technology is even though our lives get kind of hectic and busy, we still check in with each other. Um, Bonzo Solomon and I. Nadia Turner, um, Nico Smith, Anthony Federoff, Scott Fable. Um, I talk to Bo every now and again, um, and Michaela Gordon. And then we cross-pollinate through other seasons, too. Like some of the gigs, um, we still come together with other season finalists, um, and we see each other. It's a big family, even though we're wide spread out. We still keep very close contact and we support each other whenever we can. Um, recently talked to Jordan Sparks uh, a few weeks back. Um, I was actually tweeting, and uh, she got some of my Twitter messages. I was a little, you know, it was real early in the morning. She was like, hey, hang in there, big bro, you know. I was like, wow, you know, it's like just really good to just know that people are out there that have your back, that really care about you. You yeah. know, that's one of the best experiences in life to, like, just have a family outside of your own family. You're definitely part of uh, Americana, the modern-day Americana with uh American Idol, for sure. Very thankful. Yeah. And, and the new album is coming out and will be available at Willie Fest, and you will sign each and every one of them. That... I will sign each and every one of them. You... Yes, I will. Hey, hey Amor, you might, have, uh, you might have met my lead guitarist. He, uh, he works for Ricky Minor and was, whenever they did rock songs on American Idol, he was the guy they brought in to shred the lead guitar. Ooh, okay, okay. And, His and... name's uh, Rob Leifer. Okay, I certainly might have met him. Um, I've definitely would, that wouldn't have been on any of the songs that I did unless it was a group a group song. Right? But. No, no, it definitely would have been more on Bo's stuff for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm definitely definitely experienced that. That was Bo Bice gave some of the most energetic and amazing performances while we were out there. Definitely a showman. Definitely a great musician. Definitely a big-hearted fella. We he was like big bro. To us. So yeah, those were some great moments. All the lights and definitely that lead guitar was on point. So shout out to your boy for that. Right on, right on. 
Yeah, you guys will be a, a big part of the Willie Fest performing there, Thomas and, e and Nicholas. And yeah. I should say this is exactly what Willie Fest is about. Here you have an R&B singer on the right <laughs> and, and a rocker on the left. And uh, and the whole idea of Willie Fest is about diversity, you know, and we just want to have all different types of performances, not just be just, you know, indie rock or just R&B, but we have jazz people, we have a uh, couple rappers, we have um, uh, even spoken word artists. So the whole idea is about to have a very diverse program of performers and, uh, and films from around the world and films from around the world. Yes, that's right. So, uh, you know who we, hey, hey, Tom, do you know the Tall Furs? The Tall Furs. I'm not sure. sure. They're a huge indie rock group, I thought uh, you'd heard of them. We just booked them for the pavilion also. So, uh, oh, they, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more of like a, a traditional kind of rock guy. I grew up listening to classic rock and, yes. and then modern rock in my, Far in my enough, youth. That kind of stuff. Journey. I'm not cool. I'm not cool. In, not Journey. More like Led Zeppelin, and oh, okay. uh, and then into you know like In the Who, and and oh, then also yeah. you know of course the Beatles and the Rolling and Stones. And the Stones, yes, that's like yeah. Classic and, classic. and then into like Bruce Springsteen, and then later into you know Foo Fighters and John Mayer. Right. So I, I'm not cool enough to know about indie rock bands. <laughs> <laughs> John, John John Mayer actually. Uh, Grew up in the town where we're broadcasting, Fairfield, Connecticut. He, he pumped gas at the local gas station here. Whoa. Oh, right on. Yeah, right before, uh, you know, blowing up. Yeah, yeah, well, he won't be doing that again, too, sir. No, no. <laughs> yeah, probably. Unless... Maybe if he did, he'd stop saying stupid things. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah, so so we, we're just having a great time. We got two minutes to go in the show, and um, I guess uh, we'll, we'll thank our, our guests. Anwar Robinson, everything coming out very soon. He'll be performing at the Willie Fest, and uh, his CD will be available there. Come out and say hi to Anwar Robinson. And, Anwar, please come to the studio. Oh, that, yeah. we'll be doing that very soon. And Thomas Absolutely. Ian Nicholas, hard at work on another film down in New York for this past month. Check him out. His whole uh, dis, uh, filmography, Amazing work, but please also go to thomasnicholasband.com, and he'll be at Angels and Kings tonight. 9.30, you said? 9.30. 9.30, yeah. And, and cool reference to Robert Plant. I heard an interview with him today on NPR, his, his brand-new record. It was a great interview. Oh, right on. Yeah. So, yeah he's still so, doing his thing. Yeah, still doing his thing, and uh, th thanks, uh, Anwar and Thomas, awesome. so much. and uh, Yeah, thanks for having us on the show. Yeah, ho and, and, uh, and Michael, to... thank you for having us at, uh, at Willie Fest. We're yeah, trust me, it's, it's, my, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. I'm so glad to have, you know, talented guys like you coming down and, and sharing it with, you know, with the public. And, you know, and that's what it's about. You know, fantastic artists who are performing, you know, free for the public so they can get a look at, um, at good music, you know, and hear some good music and see some films, and it doesn't, and we don't have to gouge them like uh, too many other festivals out there. Oh, so, so just to clarify, the show on Thursday night at the Ninny Factory is open to the public, or? It's, it's open to everyone at opening night, and we're letting uh, some of the public in, depending on space, because it's a space thing, too. The Knitting Factory holds, like, 300 people, so once we... Uh, you know, once we uh, fill up from the opening night, yes, uh, the Knitting Factory said they're going to let some some people that are there uh, in. Oh, great. You know? Well, that's so awesome. If you have a few friends that you want to send down, then send them down, and we'll make sure that uh, they're in there to see you. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure who will, who will come. I post up every show that I play, so, you know, the, the super fans come out. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly, exactly. All right, we'll give uh, Michael, I guess, the last word, the producer of this film festival, and, and also much love to Robin Adams 